Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Module 3, Part 2. Our topic is Interpret Irrigation System Plan According to Established Procedures. Interpret Irrigation System Plan According to Established Procedures. Irrigation may be defined as the process of supplying water by artificial means to agricultural fields per crop production. If water available to the plants from rainfall is not sufficient, it is supplemented by irrigation water. In order to achieve this objective, an irrigation system is required to be developed that involves planning, design, construction, operations, and maintenance of various irrigation works. Construction of irrigation system in the Philippines. The Philippines has about 10.3 million hectares agricultural lands. Out of these, around 3.1 million hectares are considered irrigable, with up to 3% slope and primarily devoted to rice and corn. A study of the World Bank, however, identified more than 6.1 million hectares of irrigable, including areas that are relatively more difficult to irrigate and up to 8% slope. As of December 2015, about 1.731 million hectares or 57.3% of the 3.1 million hectares have been developed for irrigation. Of the total area under irrigation, about 554,665 hectares is under National Irrigation System or NIS. 615,797 hectares under Communal Irrigation System that are constructed through private initiatives. There are three categories of irrigation system, the National Irrigation System or the NIS, the Communal Irrigation System or the CIS, and the Private Irrigation System. The NIS are large and medium schemes. These are basically operated and maintained by, by NIA where beneficiaries are charged irrigation service fee for the service rendered in the delivery of water. The CIS are small-scale scheme and constructed with the participation of farmer beneficiaries through their IAs. The private irrigation system are those constructed and operated and maintained by private individuals or groups with or without technical assistance by NIA or other government agencies. The following are the importance of irrigation. One, plant contains 90% of the water. Two, water is an essential part of the protoplasm. Three, it regulates the temperature of the plant system. Four, it is essential to meet the transpiration requirement. Five, it serves as a medium for dissolving the nutrients present in the soil. And six, it is important ingredient in the photosynthesis. The essential features of a plan. First, the topographic data. The field shape must be accurately drawn showing pertinent obstructions, features, and elevation details. Second, water source capacity. The water supply must clearly indicated showing location and available capacity. Third, depending on the water source, a well log or water license must accompany the irrigation plan. Irrigation reservoir also requires water management branch licensing. Fourth, soil and crop characteristics. Soil and crop limitations must be accounted for to reduce runoff and deep percolation by mismanagement of the irrigation system. Fifth, design parameters. Soil water holding capacity, maximum application rate, and climatic data must be used to select the correct irrigation system design. And six, design data. The nozzle selected, operating pressure, discharge rate, and sprinkler spacing must all be shown on the plan. 
The irrigation interval, set time, application rate, and net amount applied must also be calculated. Differentiate designs of irrigation system. Irrigation methods and design. First is the surface irrigation. It is where water is applied and distributed over the soil surface by gravity. It is by the far most common form of irrigation throughout the world and has been practiced in many areas virtually unchanged for thousands of years. Second, the sprinkler irrigation. Sprinkler irrigation is a method of applying irrigation water which is similar to rainfall. Water is distributed through a system of pipes, usually by pumping. It is then sprayed into the air and irrigated entire soil surface through a spray head so that it breaks up into small water drops which fall to the ground. The drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is a type of micro-irrigation system that has the potential to save water and nutrients by allowing water to drip slowly to the roots of the plants, either from above the soil surface or buried below the surface. The subsurface irrigation. Subsurface irrigation uses a network of polyethylene pipes located just under the ground surface to apply disinfected effluent in the root zone of the plants, preventing airborne drip and minimizing runoff. Here are the following types of surface irrigation. First is the drain back level basins. Drain back level basins or DBLB or contour basins are a variant of basin irrigation where the field is divided into number of terraces rectangular base which are graded level or have no significant slopes. Second is the furrow irrigation. Furrow irrigation is conducted by creating a small parallel channels along the field length in the direction of predominant slope. Water is applied to the top end of each furrow and flows down the field under the influence of gravity. The spacing between adjacent furrows is governed by the crop species. Common spacings typically range from 0 0.75 to 2 meters. Types of furrows irrigation. Graded straight furrows are small irrigation channels in a straight line parallel to the field boundary used to irrigate all row crops. They are used on a soil except sandy, which has very high intake rate and provides poor lateral spread of water between furrows. This furrows type also requires a well-leveled field with a little or no slope and high human labor. The graded contour furrows are small graded irrigation channels with uneven or warped surfaces. They are mainly used to surfaces where it is not practically to use straight furrows. The furrows are curved to fit the field contour. This type can be used on all slopes and soil types except sandy and soils which crack easily when dry. The disadvantage of this type is constant furrows management and rodent control to prevent furrow damage. Next is the border strip, otherwise known as border check or bay irrigation. It can be considered as a hybrid of level basin and furrow irrigation. The field is divided into a number of bays or strips. Each bay is separated by raised earth check banks or borders. Typically, bay dimensions are about 10 to 70 meters wide and 100 to 700 meters long. The water is applied to the top end of the bay, which is usually constructed to facilitate free-flowing conditions at the downstream end. The advantages of surface irrigation Management is quite easy. You do not need any modern technology. If you have a local tradition knowledge, you can do it. You do not need high financial support. You can be beneficial with small lands too. If you have short time water supplies, then it is the best process for you. 
Another advantages are, if your drainage system is far, then you just need longer tubes. This is a nature-friendly system. You can utilize drain water. It also works effectively in a low filtration rate, low capital and no energy costs needed, and you can use this irrigation process in sloping lands and long fields. Advantages of Sprinkler Irrigation Sprinkler irrigation does not require surface shaping of leveling. It can be applied to areas of variable topography. Flexibility is possible because sprinkler heads are available no wide range of discharge capacities. The cost of labor is generally reduced. Another advantage of a sprinkler irrigation system is that erosion of soil can be eliminated. The chemical and fertilizer applications are easily used with sprinkler system. No special skills trained personnel can operate the system reasonably well. The advantages of drip irrigation. It increased yield, early maturity, water saving, fertilizer saving, increased fertilizer use, efficiency by crop energy saving, labor saving, marginal land and undulated land can be irrigated, reduce weed growth, less problem of disease and pest, and makes intercultural operations easy. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.